first 100 meters, if you have breakage, they'll stop the race. So lane five, Bell and Jesuit Prepar Preparatory School has breakage. The other crews are starting to stop, and they'll have to go back and restart the race. Hopefully the damage to the shell isn't too great. Yes, we had a, it's not a false start, but we had some breakage uh, from the boat in lane five. And if you have breakage within the first 100 meters of the race, then it's going to be restarted. Official Crew Classic merchandise is available online at crewclassic.org or by visiting one of our three merchandise areas located at the main entrance, the festival area, or the brewing crew area. Items available with cash or credit, stock up and enjoy today. Okay, so could the referees um, that are on the water, um, let's get these guys off, let's send the next uh, event, 66, bring him in. Okay, Oklahoma City and Marina, please take yourself off. We have breakage in your race. Um, stay warm in the warm-up area and we'll call you in, okay? Covered in sand by the end of the day. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and get the spacer. I've got the women's collegiate at 66 is before 67, so we should be okay. No, they're going to try to fix it. Hey, Dave, this is Shelly. Um, some steering gear. Um, Howard feels like we can fix it, so we're pulling them off. I'm pulling in 66, and then we'll slot 65. Tommy, you say it's fixed? Okay. Event 66, Women's Collegiate Second Varsity Petite Final, Washington State Lane 1, Texas Lane 2, Clemson Lane 3, Oklahoma Lane 4, Tennessee Lane 5, Oregon State Lane 6. Five minutes, ladies, five minutes.
Uh, you're correct there, Mike. It is going to be event number 66 up next, the women's collegiate second varsity uh, T final. Okay. Four minutes to the start, ladies, four minutes. Three minutes to the start, three minutes. The start in this particular case will be race number 66, the women's collegiate second final or petite final, as we had some equipment breakdown on one of the crews in event 65. So we're moving up to 66 and we'll have the start in a few minutes. Event number 66, women's collegiate second varsity petite final, lane one, Washington State University, lane two, University of Texas, three, Clemson University, four, University of Oklahoma, five, University of Tennessee, six, Oregon State University. The clouds have disappeared, and now we've got some bright sunshine down here. Still have a crosswind coming from port to starboard, which will cause the boats to steer to the right as they look towards the finish line. Oregon State over here in lane six is having some trouble getting backed into the, the stake boat. What you'll be seeing on camera a lot is the two and the four person sculling the bow, keeping it pointed up wind, up towards the bridge on the port side of the boat. Oregon State is now locking on as the bow person starts to turn the bow up into the wind. Okay, ladies, please skull to get your bows around. Oh, they broke free again. The big issue here is if, as you can see here in the Oregon State boat, if, if the bow person rows, that will pull the boat forward. So what she needs to do is hand her oar, once they're locked on, to the two push person, and then she can keep the bow pointed up. Now quite naturally out here in lane six, the wind's a little stronger, so it's a little more touchy in terms of of getting locked in and not pull away from the stake boat. Okay, lane six, please skull to get your bow around. Thank you. Coxswains have to be very careful. Yesterday, apparently the Notre Dame boat was backing into the stake boat and cracked their stern, so these are very fragile boats, meant to go fast, meant to go in a straight line. On camera now, you can probably see the two and four oarswomen sculling the bows, keeping the bows pointed towards lane number one. 
Lane 6, Oregon State, warning, late to the start. Because of that situation now, Lane 6, Oregon State is been Washington warned. Washington State, Texas, Clemson. The starter is now announcing Oklahoma, the crews. Tennessee, Oregon State, attention. Here we go. Go. And we have a start. Event number 66, women's collegiate second varsity eight petite final. Don't seem to have any problems as they get away from the start. And right now, your early leader is the Volunteers in lane number five, University of Tennessee. Now the inside boats have caught up. And in fact, in lane three, Clemson is your leader, but not by much. The first four crews are all within a seat of one another. In fact, nobody's out of this race. Lane one to, to lane number six. University of Texas now, the Longhorn crew is pulled out a little bit. They're going bow ball to bow ball with Washington State University. Then a tight battle for that third position between Tennessee and Oklahoma. But now as the crews shift gears, the inside lane, lane number one, Washington State Cougars now have a four seat advantage over lane number three, Clemson. Third position belongs to Texas. Then Oklahoma, Tennessee, and Oregon State is trailing. Coxon's looking across to see where they stand with the other crews as we approach the 500 meter mark. Your race leader in lane one, Washington State, followed by Clemson, then Oklahoma, University of Texas, Tennessee, and Oregon State. Once again, this is event number 66, Women's Collegiate Second Varsity Petite Final. The Longhorns having moved up just a little bit and they are now fighting it out for that third position on our current lead is Washington Red Caps White Shell. Washington moving along slowly and comfortably right now settled into their mid course stroke and just working on the power of the stroke and maintaining the slight lead that they have. They have edged ever so much out a little bit. Oklahoma beginning to come up and challenge. Clemson and Texas is also right in there as Washington State continues to advance their lead out to about five seats now. But it is almost a straight line across Oakland, uh, Oklahoma, Clemson, and Texas with possibly Oklahoma getting a nose out. The Clemson Tigers moving along. As once again, Oklahoma has pressed forward and they appear to have moved into that second position. Yeah, for a while. By Texas and Clemson. For a while there, Alan, the uh, crews in two, three, and four, Oklahoma, Clemson, and the University of Texas, were stroke for stroke, nobody gaining any advantage, but it looks as though the University of Oklahoma have just edged out into that second position at the moment. Washington State still on the lead. Oklahoma cutting into it ever so slightly, but they certainly have uh, not lost the fact that Clemson and Texas are right on their backside. So we have an excellent row here for the second position, but that's not what it's about. Washington State on the lead. Washington State is in lane number one. Appears that Clemson, check that Oklahoma, then Clemson and Texas have moved out. Tennessee has not lost contact. They're out there in lane number five and dropping back just a little bit, Oregon State. When the wind blows from this direction, Alan, uh, that lane six is a difficult lane to row in. Uh, we can, if, if the wind keeps blowing as it does this morning, we can uh, almost anticipate that uh, crews in lane six and sometimes lane five are going to have a harder row to hoe than the crews on the inside of them. 
in the foreground. That's Oklahoma, and they've closed up some ground, but they still have not overtaken Washington State. Oregon State on the far outside. Now Texas has moved up into the picture. So Texas and Oklahoma battling for that second spot. And they have closed down some ground on Washington State. Washington State now with a lead of only four seats. Yes, Washington State have sort of maintained their pace, but the battle behind them has pushed the crews engaged in that battle back onto them. And although there was an initial charge from the University of Texas uh, to uh, get ahead into the second place, it appears that it's Clemson. And Sorry, although it was Clemson that initially, it seems that it's Texas and the University of Oklahoma that are now battling it out. Oklahoma took a lead, and it's now uh, University of Texas that's in that second spot. Washington State, Texas, Oklahoma, and Clemson certainly make a great run here in a fine race. Out on the outside, Oklahoma beginning to close down a little bit and make a run at the leaders as Washington State falls back. So Oklahoma in the center of the field there is on a good run. Texas, Clemson, then to the outside, Tennessee has certainly closed down some distance and then Oregon State on the far outside. Oregon State have done a great job here because they've really stayed in touch in difficult circumstances. They can be proud of the effort they're putting in here. This is the women's collegiate second varsity petite final. And although it is battling for lower positions in the overall scheme of things, they certainly would love to run away with this trophy. Oklahoma on the middle of the course now moving into first place. Texas making a move. Washington State beginning to fade just slightly. And Clemson getting down a little bit. This is Oklahoma on the outside. It is Washington State along the shoreline. They're now being challenged by Texas. Washington State and Texas apparently have fought off the Oklahoma charge on the outside. And here comes Clemson along the shore. It's Washington State and Texas. Outside to Clemson and Oklahoma, Tennessee on the far outside in Oregon State. Along the shoreline, it is Washington State working on a wire to wire, but they're being challenged by Texas. It is at the finish line. It apparently is going to be Washington State, Texas, and then just barely Oklahoma out there in lane number four, and Clemson finishing in the fourth spot with Tennessee and Oregon State. Along the shoreline, Washington State had the easy go of it along the way, but as Charles said earlier, sometimes the crews battling behind them for second place will push forward, and that's almost what happened as Washington State did hang on. Texas in lane number two, and then outside to Oklahoma, making a run at the leaders at about 250 meters to go, failed to sustain that, and they just barely got a bow marker in front of Clemson. Yeah, I think it was whoever had the oar in the water and was on the surge at the point that they got to the finish line between Oklahoma and Clemson there. 